What's going on guys? This is Ferox and today I'm bringing you guys another tutorial and today we're going to be focusing on organization. Um, when you're a graphic designer, whether you're starting out a beginner or even a more advanced designer, you need to stay organized and when you stay organized uh, it increases your workflow, sorry, it speeds up your workflow and um, it's just overall a lot easier and a lot less stressful to find things. So to start off, as you can see, my desktop, it's nice and clean. Um, I like to keep it that way. It's less of an eyesore. Usually, usually it's full. It's full of files and crap, and I usually have to clean it out once a week. But lately, I've been cleaning it up, keeping it nice and clean, just to stay organized. So what we're going to do, we're going to go over my folder layout, and I hope you guys find this helpful and take some tips or even use my layout. Uh, you can customize the contents of the of the folders to your likings, etc. So let's get into it. So my folder is called Graphic Design, obviously. I have it in a external hard drive, and I actually recommend everybody to get an external hard drive because let's say if your computer crashes, you lose you lose everything, right? But if you have an external hard drive, um, you you won't lose everything, right? And that's where I keep all my graphic design stuff just to keep it safe and secure. Also, if you're on the go. Uh, let's say you have a laptop, you can bring your laptop and plug in your external hard drive and there you go, you have everything right there. It's really simple, really easy and so yeah, you, it's only 250 gigabytes. A lot of people get like one terabyte, two terabytes. Uh, I don't think it's necessary. Um, if you already have a one terabyte computer, you wouldn't need a 250 gigabyte or a one terabyte hard drive. So let's go into the folder. And as you can see, I have three separate folders, artwork, inspiration, and resources. Um, we'll just go down the list here. Okay, as you can see, we have two folders inside here, uh, client work and personal work. Let's go into client work, and as you can see, there is a folder for every single client. And I usually clear it out like once a year, really, really old stuff I cleared out a while ago. But um, this is really easy, and I keep them here for a long time. Uh, let's say the the client comes back to me and says, "Hey, I uh, lo I accidentally deleted my logo. I don't have it anymore. Uh, can you send it? Do you still have it? Can you send it to me?" And I'll be like, "Of course, they still have it," and I'll send it right to them. So there you go. Now, now let's go into personal work. And in, in here, I have Ferox Studios and school projects. Um, school projects is just work uh, from school assignments that I make on on uh, Photoshop or whatever. It's pretty simple stuff, but. Ferox Studios is where I keep all my personal work. Um, it's all in one folder, and I have certain subfolders in there. But um, it's all my all my speed art, all my uh, some a lot of my uh, Behance projects, stuff like that. Um, just little projects or little things I I work on over time that I keep in there, um, as well as my logo and stuff like that. So now let's go into inspiration and inspiration is really important to, if you're a graphic designer because that's how you learn like you take you get inspired by another another piece of work and you and you try to implement something from that piece of work into yours you don't, you don't complete copy them but you try to implement them into yours or try to do what they did you can do it for fun or you can get inspired for like a speed art or just a personal project so over time, I I look up I just look up images on Behance or DeviantArt uh, websites like those, and I'll save the image and put it in here. And then one day, let's say I'm looking for an idea on a speed art, I'll come to this folder and look for ideas. So, yeah. And next we have resources, and this is the biggest folder out of the three. Um, and here is where I keep everything, like all my resources, all my brushes, um, CCs, Lightrooms. I'll just go down the list, mockups, renders, screenshots, social icons, stock images, templates, textures, and uh, also UI design, user interface design. If you guys don't know what that is, um, it's basically like designing uh, media players, uh, website, web web design, a lot, a lot of it is in web design. Why does this keep popping up? Don't show this message again. Okay. So yeah, this is pretty simple. I'm not going to go into every folder um, because you, you guys can categorize them yourself. And people have been asking for a graphic a graphics pack um, for a while now. I've the last time I released one, I had like 2k subs. But 
I don't know if I'm going to release one, I'm not sure. If it is, it's going to be stuff that I all made, like, all myself. Because I don't want to release any more, any more uh, stockage, stock images of for, uh, from other people or something. I just want it to be all me. So over time, I will release something like that. And it will include other giveaways that I have ga have given away. And I'll, I'll include in that as well. So maybe a graphics pack for 8K. Who knows, guys? Um... So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please leave a like and uh, maybe even a favorite. Uh, also, comment below on new video ideas for me, new speed art ideas, what you guys want to see from me next. Um, feel free to do that. Uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you later. Sorry if I'm stuttering or something. I always get like nervous or I feel under pressure when I have to do a commentary. I don't know why. But yeah, guys, this has been Ferox, and I'm out.